Hey there, my friend. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing about my specific homeschooling style. I am so excited about this video because it is a collaboration with other homeschooling YouTubers. This one is hosted by Devin over at Calm in the Chaos channel, and I absolutely love all of these homeschooling YouTubers. We all support each other, so please help support us. You're gonna to get to learn about all the different kinds of homeschooling styles, so I really do think that each one is important to watch. I'm gonna be linking in the description box below the playlist of all of our videos. If you are new to my channel, my name is Rachel, and I am a homeschooling mom to three kiddos, and on this channel, I focus on hands-on fun learning activities. If that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing. My homeschooling style is definitely like my taste in music. It's all over the place. I grew up listening to music from Hootie and the Blowfish to Smash Mouth to Snoop Dogg to Michael W. Smith, okay? I was crazy and I still am when it comes to music and homeschooling is the same way. I love it all. I love all different types of homeschooling styles and so I just decided to mesh them all together and this is something called eclectic homeschooling. I didn't even know this term was used until about a year and a half ago. Now I know you're gonna be watching the other videos in this collaboration, and they're gonna be talking about specifically something like traditional schooling, and then they're gonna be talking about Montessori, and they're gonna talk about Charlotte Mason, and I think it's really good if you go ahead and check out those videos and see each specific one, because honestly, I use them all. So it's good to kind of get an idea, and I have a very good brief idea of to each one. So if you are watching those videos, and you say, I really like that one, but I also really like that one. Don't stress, just put them together. So instead of going through and talking about each specific one, I'm just gonna show you what our eclectic homeschooling looks like. For science and for history, we are currently doing unit studies. We talk about a specific topic that the kids wanna learn about. It is very child-centered. I ask them at the beginning of the year or the beginning of the semester what topic they want to discuss for science and for history, and we go through and we find books and I find videos and I Pinterest like crazy. I make a joke and I say, you know you're an eclectic homeschooler when you use Pinterest more than Facebook. For language and for math, I tend to lean, especially for the elementary schools, towards a Montessori approach. It's a lot of you pick the activity that we're going to do and I kind of base it around where they are level-wise. I wish we had the room for Montessori shelves, but unfortunately we do not. This is what I like to call our manipulative organizer. So the kids will come over here and depending on whether or not we're doing math or we're doing language and which age the kid is, they'll come over and just pick from their options and we'll sort of go from there. So in here specifically is a language arts bin. Again, we are still moving, so I'm still unpacking a lot of things, but they'll come in here and depending on what their age is, they'll do some writing of some sight words or they'll do some different rubbing of letters for the example this one right here each subject is probably gonna have multiple of these bins but again a lot of different age groups in these bins for example this is gonna be my seven-year-old who's working on her upper language arts she might also come over and pick up something like this magnetic word builders and then we'll be working on our different diagraphs but then my littlest kiddo is you know might be doing his sight words but then also might be doing still letter construction and handwriting type activities my older son this year, who's in the fifth grade, actually transitioned over to a traditional style of schooling for math this year. He actually does an online video. He watches it, answers questions, does a lesson, sort of by himself at Independent, which is very interesting and different for me this year. I find that I'm loving the idea. He really enjoys it. And I like the idea of him learning a traditional type school because that's kind of the goal is eventually to get our kids to college and college is traditional, very much lecture, reading a book, answering questions type atmosphere. 
My favorite way to homeschool and definitely the kids' favorite way to homeschool is game schooling. I throw in games throughout the week. Sometimes we do a whole day of games. It just sort of depends on what we have planned that week and our schedule and if we need to make up some things. But basically, we just sit down and we play learning-based games. Now, I am going to be doing a video on learning-based games and all the different ones we use for the different subjects. So definitely stay tuned for a video coming out about that. So that is what my specific homeschooling looks like. Every day is different. Some days the kids may be super into a hands-on activity and they really want to do something fun and crafty and engaging. And other days they don't mind just chilling, us reading a book, and it just varies. It depends every day and it depends every week and every week and every day looks different than the next. And it is what works for our family. Well, I hope you found this video useful and please do not forget to definitely check out the other videos in the playlist linked in the description box below. And I'll actually put them at the end card here. So you can definitely click that link to see everybody's videos. We'll see you next time. Have a great day kids uh, my kids just came and kissed me and they gave me a slobbery kiss a term about love I you yeah,